I want to display uh, a little something that I made in C Sharp. Uh, I use some external libraries. It's like 4:15 a.m. So this is going to be like it. Then I'm going to go to sleep for the night. But basically, what I've done and enabled is the ability to control Google Earth, the API, through Visual C Sharp. I used a library for this that was already made. And uh, what it does is it invokes the JavaScript uh, functions. But uh, as you see right now, it works. It's uh, making me click because of the way I have it set up. I'm not in the uh, ran out of time. Here you can zoom in. You can back up. The only problem with this right now is the fact that all it's doing is rotating the world. So you can rotate it right, right there, and it just looks like yeah, it gets messed up. I need to rotate the camera around the world. But uh, on to the technical crap. Um, this will eventually be interfaced with Connect, and I believe that it's going to have a lot of potential in education as the fact that you can embed pretty much anything into this where it is a somewhat web based application. Uh, the JavaScript, I saw an example where YouTube videos were embedded. Uh, that's definitely not nowhere near the uh, limit of this but uh, I'll let y'all look at my code basically all that happens is the input occurs in C sharp after I've set everything up you have to have the uh, Google Earth plugin that I have to do this uh, I believe it was provided by Google. I'm not sure the legalities of this. I don't think that I, I certainly know that I won't be able to sell this. I don't plan to. Um, you have to do some permission things here. But basically the real code occurs over here in the JavaScript where basically I can do anything over here and let it go into C sharp and manipulate it from manipulate it from there from an invoke. Uh, this is probably gonna be a pretty sucky video. But uh and I uh, I guess I should mention the fact that this is ran outside of a uh, web browser for the Windows C sharp dot net web browser whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if it's actually an Internet Explorer or what, but as you see it takes a little while to load. That is because it's loading from offline. I want to look into being it being able to uh add this online. If you want to look at uh Strata Logica Strata Logica or something like that I believe it is. I saw them at ISTE over the summer. They have a platform similar to this to be used with smart boards, but this is going to be different. It's going to use to connect and uh, work really hard on this today. I'm going to go email the guy that kind of shot the idea to and see what he thinks. So uh, thanks for watching.